Oh, same new story. Hi! Tech Rabbit here again. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit late on a Friday evening here. Thought we could uh, start doing some un unboxing stuff. And I mean, I know other people, there's lots of other people that have done unboxing of these type of products. But um, since I have them, I think I'd just like to go through them anyway. Maybe form some. Find something interesting. Yes! Been in the business of buying um, a power supply or two for the activities here on the channel. And um, the first one is a 650 watt power supply from uh, Corsair. Um, does it say 80 plus? I think that means gold. Um, let's see if it says anything. I'm not a, not an expert in in power supplies, but I think Corsair is pretty good brand. Oh, this plastic is a bit stacked, so it's cool. Let's go on it. I really have wide enough angle of view on that webcam for this. Oh, I mean. Pro that I'm using. Now let's see if we can have a little bit of a look at this. So, let's see what, what it contains. Okay, usual written warnings. Let's see, important information. Let's see if there is anything here. That Safety information or something. If it's just very small print with a with a lot of warning labels, then usually it's not for a three because it won't be actually anything that one needs to know immediately at least. So okay, it has the um, mains cable. And this is for the um, yeah, European standard. So, actually use the space we have. And then, this is the actual power supply. And now we can get rid of the. Oh, look! They've included the screws. Oh, that's nice. So let's see what we can find. This is relatively heavy and I'm always a bit happier when I'm not when the power supply seems actually a bit heavier. at least. And then this is actually, I bought this, this is not modular. But it wasn't that expensive, so I thought I'd better for the application I'm going to use this for. It doesn't need to be modular. Well, it's quite compact. Well, at 
least just looking at it, it seems like it's good enough. Gonna sort of power cables. Looks like a one with three connectors. And then Legacy CD ROM or something? No, these are, look, yeah, those are more like for older style equipment. It says on the box. not actually giving information about that small connector, but I think that could be could it be for a floppy drive. Well, that's always possible. Peripheral connector. Oh there it is. As you see it is actually for a floppy drive. So the picture is the same size as the, <laughs> the other connect. What does it call that? Peripheral connector. I wonder if even that's the. Okay, so basically this is for um, to support if one has a little bit of older computer and the, the power supply blows up, so that one can actually get the get the older equipment also connected. Which is good. So, I think that if one had a legacy computer, there's there is enough of these style connectors. If you remember some people that have been, and then you can actually can connect a floppy drive. But it also has the um, power connectors for SATA, so, so that's okay. More SATA connectors. Definitely, you'd have to have a quite a, a lot of SATA drives and stuff to run out of place. And then we have okay. Then we have a CPU connector, but where's the? Does it have a legacy CPU connector? Darn. Ah, what does that have? Huh? Okay, that has, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Okay, that's a normal 24 pin connector. And then I'm miss missing, oh, for my application, I was going to actually use this for, um, If that would just fit, because it doesn't go to a four-pin CPU connector. This is the CPU connector it comes. With. So that's not the four-pin. So that's going to be a bit of a problem for my application. So I was going to try and um, use this as the power supply for my uh, dodo. That's going to be a bit of. It's not going to be a bit of a problem, is it? I thought all these power supplies came with. But that looks split. Or split the whole. No, 
That should come apart. Yes! There! Look at that! Ha! Yippee! I was thinking that it had to have a um, 2 times 4 connector. So, okay. I, I am saved. So this should actually... So for... That's why I actually purchased this, because the... Um, storage area the the old my old storage area network server is actually more like a legacy PC so then I thought I'd borrow a little bit more like a yeah one of these um ah these kind of like repair your old computer power supplies even if the this power supply is completely new and actually um then I thought I'd buy try and buy a little bit non non brand non power supply Okay, I think this will actually work. Excellent. And it came with the screws, those that are going to put it into a computer case. Okay, anything to comment? I think that when it looks that like cable length, then I don't think that we'll have any issues, even in the largest of cases. But I mean, as I said, it's mentioned before, this isn't modular, so you have all the cables connected directly. And if, yeah, I always a bit wondered why. And of course, modular power supplies are a bit more expensive because you have to put all the connectors in. So these are actually cheaper when you buy them with all the cables already connected from from inside the power supply. Hmm. Well, then you can't make such neat installations, in my opinion. But as I said, I don't want it something that was pretty much guaranteed to work on my own on the file server. So we'll see if I can actually get that to work. Okay, so um, yeah, that'll be another. Another video. I guess I can probably. That's SOTA. I want the legacy connector. actually very close to thinking to um, for my specific problem to um, to steal this cable here and then just cut it off and rewire it would that be nasty shouldn't be doing it in this video because this was supposed to be an unboxing video. What the heck? See? I wonder if those would no that's for the Ah, but they do kind of fit. Even this is a horrible hack. Oh yeah. Ooh! That actually fits in there a bit too good. I actually might be able to just plug those in here, into here. Just take these. Now you're going to have to watch the previous, uh, previous. Uh, I actually have a video <laughs> for the whole um, storage area network fix, um, and I'm going to have to do the video editing of it. And, uh, I've never really done any major vi video editing, so. So we'll see. Wish me luck. Maybe I can actually get it created. I went through some bumps trying to um, get that to um, work. And actually, I think I have a good chance of being able to use this power supply. Yes, to fix that. So anyway, 
So that was a unboxing of a very basic VS650 from Corsair. And I'm ho and, um, looking this over, I think cable lengthwise and um, you know connector-wise, I think this can pretty much adapt to any any um, yeah through the history of changes in PCs. I think. And that's the good thing about buying one of these a uh, little bit more classical power supplies if you have a if you do have a um, an older PC. And then you can be pretty sure it's going to work. And you don't really need for an older PC. You don't need you don't ah, six ah, six hundred and fifty watts is very much enough in my opinion. So this this will work very well for the um, file server as long as I can get it. As long as there isn't anything else gone wrong with it. Okay, so I think we can um, wrap that up. And, uh, can probably call out a day. And as I said, there are better unboxing. There's even videos where you, uh, just as a hint, if you go to. Um, I have a, a, one of the channels that I follow. You can look at the videos that, or the channels that I have in, in, the, in the list on the, my YouTube channel. Maybe I should actually look it up. Short circuit in the brain, let's see. Um, I think this is worth mentioning. Just bring out the page. Mm, so slow. Here we go. That's the problem with doing things late at night. Mm. Where is it? Ah, <laughs> gamers Nexus, for example. They they take these power supplies and they put them into a power supply tester and then they run all kinds of all kinds of curves. Mm. Intending to turn this channel into a PC related channel. What PC tech? But I mean, we, we need PC tech, uh, us makers. So. so maybe sometimes it's good to um, talk about the PC equipment we use and what we do with it. It might actually help some. But anyway, this is, um, yeah, as I said, this power supply I recommend for those that have uh, older, older equipment and want to make sure that they actually get long enough cables and um, relatively simple physical installation so you don't need to be um, scared about the size. I'm going to try and introduce this to us, the fix for my um, storage area network um, fixing project. And then I will try not, there will be a separate video for that, more videos coming out a bit later. Huh? Anyway, I hope this was of some interest for, for people, and I can recommend this isn't that expensive as a power supply goes. It will very much work for a um, yeah. little bit older PCs or PCs that don't have that much equipment installed. Okay, talk to you later.